I'm really delighted to be back at the uh, Female Eye Film Festival. Um, Creative Women Workshops Association is a big sponsor of this uh, um, uh, festival that's still very important to our industry in Canada, and uh, dare I say around the world, because it's one of the uh, three remaining international women's film festivals in Canada. Uh, Vancouver and St. John's being the other two, and the female eye centered here in Toronto is critical to the health of our industry. So I am Dan Lyon. I've been at Telefilm uh, for I guess a little over eight years, and before that, mainly I was uh, a distributor and uh, exec producer. Those were my two main hats, but I've had actually quite a few other jobs in the industry as well. Really enjoying the uh, the responsibility, I guess, and the, the fun of, of being a funder, uh, because my mandate at Telefilm for the funds that I'm in charge of is actually talent building. So, you know, people on the street might think, oh, wow, Telefilm, you know, unless I've made 20 films, they won't even talk to me. It's actually the exact opposite in terms of talking to me, because the people I'm most interested in are people who as directors, producers, and writers have done some interesting work in shorts, in web series, in music videos, uh, or what I would affectionately call credit card features that you've just you know, got out and done on your own. Um, I'm the program manager for the Bell Fund, and we also administer the Independent Production Fund and the Kojiko Program Development Fund. Uh, so really quickly on all of those, because that's a lot of programs, and we tried to mush it all together. Um, the, Kojiko Fund is a traditional film and television fund. It is an equity investor in the development and production of mostly television um, and some film. Uh, film can fit under, uh, we have a specific program called our Theatrical Slate Development Program. The deadline's coming up, it's only once a year. Uh, your you need to have an established company that has a track record of producing theatrical feature films. Uh, one of which I think has to have been released within the last five years. Um, and that is a development loan for a slate. You apply with three films on your slate and you get $35,000 um, as a loan towards your company to continue to develop those projects. We have the experimental stream, which is uh, $39 million this year. Um, and that is for software, apps, uh, interactive websites, uh, console games, and that sort of thing. And then the rest of the money is the Virgin Screen, which is for television programming and their digital media, like complementary projects. OMBC is a provincial agency, and we have been an agency, an arms length agency of the ministry that has had many different incarnations. It is currently the Ministry of Tourism, uh, Culture, and Sport. I'm involved one way or another in three different funds. First is the uh, industry development program through which we fund, in fact, the female eye. And of the 75 uh, approximately film festivals in Toronto, we are funding about 10. And this is the one that we address that is a pretty special festival. My primary area of interest is the film fund. We have, sadly, only $4 million a year. Um, and we have two deadlines. And it's a jury competition. We accept uh, applications for development and production of feature documentaries and feature dramas. Uh, we can come in for up to 15% of your budget, but we are in production, we are last in the front. Because we have deadlines, we have to be a bit flexible about that. Um, so we say you can only come in if you're fully funded, but most people are not fully funded on our arbitrary deadlines. The first deadline tends to be at the beginning of May, second one beginning of November. That's our tradition. I think Telefilm's easy to find uh, at international markets. So, for example, at Cannes, we have a big booth in the pavilion and so on, and we have experts on site there to help producers, both Canadian producers and non-Canadian producers, to help them kind of find each other and help them navigate the system. In terms of making direct application to Telefilm, our client base are Canadians, so that's our client base. But of course we're open to speaking 
with people uh, from other countries in the interest of, of you know, making more use of our treaties. I learned a couple of things about the co-production. One is that you should never assume that another country approaches production the same way you do. You absolutely should not, because at one point during the process of deciding whether you're going to work with it, you should sit down for a day and talk through the entire process. How, how do you work? How, do things, how are things structured in your country? Where are the priorities? Many co-pros are multi-territory co-pros. Yes. It's not it's something not we mentioned, so yeah, it's exactly. not necessarily two. You know, you think not of a marriage as two people, but this is menage a trois, or <laughs> cat, or saint. Yes. Uh, one of uh, Martin's old colleagues, Pat Ferns, uh, yeah, he put together once a, a I think 12 country yeah. co pro. Well, and at, at the time, I, yeah, yeah, I worked very briefly. I was a lawyer in private practice, and I was his lawyer on that production. And then I quit law, and he quit production. <laughs> <laughs>